Well, hello, everyone. First off, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Wyatt Davis, and uh, I couldn't be more than happy to be a part of this organization. And I also want to thank everyone else that's a part of this organization that that um, picked me and chose me to be part of the Vikings. I can't wait to go out there and perform and, and show them why they made the right choice. Thanks, Wyatt. We'll go to Chris Thomason and then Courtney Cronin. Oh, hey, Wyatt. Welcome to Minnesota. You played uh, right guard at Ohio State. I know the Vikings had Ezra Cleveland at right guard this past season. He did a pretty solid job. Are you pretty much a right guard, or could you swing to the left side, or just talk about your uh, your versatility? Oh, most definitely. I, I could play any position on the offensive line, and I, I am more more than welcome to flipping sides or doing anything I can to help the team. So playing a different position or different side is not a problem for me at all. Why, what was your um, communication like with the Vikings during the pre-draft process and in, in meeting with coaching staff, going through any sorts of install? What was that like going up until this point? Right, so I only met with um, the Vikings once, and that was strictly with Coach Rico. And it was uh, we went over um, my game film as well as just installing, um, you know, the very basis of their offense. And that was pretty much it for the meeting and didn't really hear from them again. And uh, – Kept solid communication the whole the whole entire time throughout the draft, but um, uh, I would just say I met uh, once with Coach Rico. Next, Ben Gessling. Wyatt, there's been a lot of uh, interior offensive linemen from Ohio State that have gone on the draft, uh, obviously tonight and in years past. I guess, what is that group like to be a part of, and uh, what is it about that group that you think has translated to so many of you getting picked in the NFL? Honestly, I just think it's uh, the culture of the offensive line at Ohio State, especially being the interior guys. Um, you know, this past season, uh, me and my teammate Josh Myers, uh, you know, were the leaders of the offensive line room. And what came with that was was a huge expectation to be held, uh, not only from our offensive line coach, but from playing at Ohio State. And that is just to be uh, nasty and just a blue collar kind of guy. You know, you don't get a lot of credit. But obviously, when it goes wrong, that's when you get your credit. So we had to make sure that none of that happened. We had to give, you know, Justin the best opportunity he can to make plays as well as our running backs and as well as everyone else on the offense. And Ohio State's an O-line driven team. So we all knew and we, we, we accept that responsibility. And me personally, I love that responsibility of how the team does is determined by how we do up front. So that I, I feel like just being a part of that culture and that type of expectation puts everyone, uh, each and every one of us in this type of position to be able to get drafted. Next question for Wyatt. Open up to anybody now. Craig Peters. Hey, Wyatt, congrats. I was just going to ask about um, just joining such a young nucleus along this offensive line. I mean, Christian got picked last night, a couple other recent high picks. So, uh, how excited are you to really form that uh, bond and grow together as a group? I'm extremely excited. Um, you know, yesterday with Christian out, he's a great player. And, you know, I can't wait just to get to work and and, and really um, be able to mess with all the guys, all, all my teammates. And I, just, I can't wait to meet everyone and, and get to work. Dave Campbell, then Courtney. Hey, um, Wyatt, how much of sorry about that? How much of, of your grandpa's career um, you know, was sort of a part of uh, you growing up and, and you know learning about him and, and um, just sort of, you know how you guys kind of celebrate that in your family? Uh, well, one, I mean, I you know, I, I know that my grandfather, he's he's looking down upon me right now and smiling. And, you know, uh, now it's up to me to, to uphold the legacy that he built for my family. And now that I have this opportunity, I, I definitely will be making the most out of it. And not only making my family proud, but more importantly, making my teammates proud moving on in the future. So I know that every, everyone in my family is ecstatic. Everyone's screaming and yelling still right now. And I know my granddad's screaming and yelling from up above. So I know everyone's happy. Wyatt, how do you feel about transitioning from where you were at Ohio State and the scheme you were in there um, to playing now in a more zone-friendly scheme where 
you know, they want guys out in space, second level, relying on a lot of athletic guys. How do you feel like you're going to fit into that? I mean, I feel like I'm going to fit perfectly into that. I mean, a lot, a lot of the scheme that, that the Vikings run is, which I learned in, in the meeting I had with Coach Rico, is the same type of scheme that we ran up at Ohio State, especially with the outside zone type of stuff. And I feel like that's, that, that's an area that I, I can excel in and, and look to make an impact in moving forward.